Ikaw talaga. Hindi naman kasi... You're to find humor. Correct, correct, correct. People relax. Sometimes we need to relax and, you know, be real. And I think that's what... That's one of the things that your ventriloquism and puppetry can do, di ba? Because people don't really speak out the truth. Correct. And, you know, and here, you're able to make people... You know, we can say what you know what we would normally say to ourselves, and I can get away with anything. <laughs> That's I can get away with anything. With this, uh, no, with right. this, uh, okay, Oni. Uh, I'm sure what we've seen is only a portion of what you really can yeah, do. Yeah, all right. Yeah, so, yeah. Uh, so if you wanna um, contact Oni, yes, yes. all right, you can call us up. And, okay. And then I'll be just to invite. Uh, all the televiewers, your televiewers. Uh, I will be having a show July 8th, July 8th, uh, CCP, no? Cultural Center of the Philippines, all right. as part of the CCP's uh, Word Jam Spoken Word Festival. Ito y, ito y, uh, uh, part ng 40th anniversary na CCP. I'll be doing a show uh, July 8th, 8 a.m. 8 a.m. Uh, but I'd like to congratulate you. Yeah, I mean, that's an honor to be able to uh, present there. I mean, yeah. such a big group. Yes, huh? yes, yes, wow. yes, yes. Well, well uh, we wish you a lot of luck. Yeah. Okay, the best. I hope you not only become the best in Asia, but <laughs> the best in the world. Oh, wow. Why not? Kaya ng Pinoy. Hindi ba? Kaya ng Pinoy. Kaya ko yun. Kaya ko. Kaya niya. All right, sir. Kaya niya. All right. So, if you want to get in touch with Oni, just call us up. 722-4662 or 725-2611. And we will give you uh, all the details about Oni and how you can be contacted. All right, Marami Salamat. Salamat Oni. Then. Thank really you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. You cannot bring up your hands, but anyway. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay. We'll be with you in a while. Salamat. Thank you. Okay, and now it's time to talk about the business of heroism. Business question. Why business? No, because we're looking at profit and benefit. What benefits a hero? Why does a hero do what they do? Okay, that is what we're going to explore today. And with us here, we have five, to my mind, heroes, okay, who have been helping make our world a blessed, a blessed, not only yes, a blessed and a good place to live in. Uh, from JC Senate, and we have from Insular Life, and we have those that were awarded as the Outstanding Filipino. Filipinos for the year 2005 and 2008. Eight. All right. To help us, uh, in, in this portion, I have assigned to be my co-host, Mr. Jean Bautista. <laughs> okay, he'll take care okay. of the show this part, okay? So, but first, let's, let's get to know everybody, okay? Jean, yeah. let's start with you. All right. Uh, good day uh, to uh, all the happy audience of uh, this uh, happy talk with Kaloy Ataide. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, we're really happy to be here uh, to be able to... Uh, expound more on the, what we deem as a, an awareness campaign uh, to let the people and everybody else know about the Outstanding Filipino Awards. Okay. All right. Uh, uh, next, uh, to, your to my uh, right here, he will introduce himself, the search uh, chair for this year's TOEFL uh, Awards. What, what is TOEFL Award? Mr. Uh, Reggie Yu, okay. Can you tell us what TOEFL is? That, is that okay? Yeah. Okay. Is that okay? Is the mic alright? Yeah, the mic's okay. Okay. All right, the yeah. TOEFL Award uh, stands for the Outstanding Filipinos. It was instituted by Junior Chamber International Senate Philippines in 1988, and it seeks to uh, recognize um, men and women. 41 years and above 
who have uh, significantly contributed to the um, overall um, impact in their uh, professions and in their respective uh, fields of endeavor. Okay, so that's Reggie Yu. Yes, All that's right. right. On the left is Anna Maria Soriano. Soriano right? Yes. Um, happy viewing to everyone. Um, I'm here to represent Insular Life, the corporate sponsor of uh, TOEFL for the last 22 years. We have been partnered with the JC Senate uh, since 1988 when the TOEFL award was launched. To date, we already have 99 um, awardees, and two of whom are with us um, in the show tonight. Okay, and our awardees, we start. Sister? Uh, good afternoon, everyone. I am Sister Mary Placid Abejo, Dean of Music of St. Scholastica's College, and the TOEFL awardee of the year 2008. I'm here supposed to be to share with you about my work with the youth. Great. And our next awardee, uh, Dr. Adolfo B. Beso, uh, Belosilio. Belosilio. Thank you very much. You know, I'm Dr. Adolfo Belosilio, a cardiologist. And I am a TOEFL awardee in medicine for the year 2005. I am a past president of the Philippine Heart Association and currently president of the, uh, and a past president of the Cardiac Rehab Society of the Philippines and, and currently working actively for preventive cardiology, being the founding president of our uh, foundation for lay education on heart diseases. Okay. Reggie, maybe you can tell us, uh, I mean, Jim, uh, sorry, uh, my co-host. <laughs> Maybe you can tell us, uh, what are the criteria? I mean, uh, how do you decide who should be awarded? Yeah, well, actually, we have to go through the motion of uh, people first uh, nominating uh, uh, the individuals who they deem is uh, qualified uh, to be uh, a nominee. No? Uh, they have to be uh, 41 years and over. Right. Uh, Filipino citizen, and uh, they have to be of good moral character, of course, and they must have uh, exemplified in their fields of uh, endeavor. No? And uh, we go through this selection process. It's very rigid, actually. Um, first, we have this screening committee uh, who uh, pre-screen uh, the, the, the nominees. And uh, from a short list, that we again pass on to uh, the board of judges that we choose uh, from uh, the various, uh, you know, the, the members of this board of judges are uh, people uh, who we choose. Uh, they're uh, from uh, uh, either justices or, you know, those, those guys who help us and finally judge uh, the nominees. Is this like the American Idol? You know, you go up and down. <laughs> Sorry, you have to go. <laughs> no, 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 it's uh, not. Definitely, I'm sure it's not. I mean, yes, uh, and, um, uh, <laughs> the the thing that we really do here is uh, actually, talagang uh, rigid ang uh, screening uh, ito. Screening. We uh, grow through uh, uh, several criteria actually, and uh, there are also categories that we uh, we have identified, no. In fact, we have 17 categories that we have identified, wow. plus uh, others that uh, if they're not under the category, we put them if they really are um, qualified for whatever uh, okay. uh, outstanding achievements that they might have contributed to society. Right. Yes, um, uh, this is JC Senate, right? I, I was asking, uh, this is the JC, JC, <laughs> international, but, uh, yes. but you are, the Senate. I mean, uh, can you tell us why, uh, why, what's the difference between an ordinary JC and a JC Senate, uh, Reggie? Okay, uh, Kaloy, the, uh, the uh, JCI Senate is the, uh, a group or an organization of, uh, composed of outstanding uh, men and women who have, in their own way, contributed to the upliftment of the JCI movement. Uh, they have, should be at least have been conferred as 
uh, outstanding JCI members when they were still regular JCI members. Now, uh, I'd also like to clarify that um, 